hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to quickly show everyone on how to correct for scan line errors on landsat 7 imagery using arcgis pro so let's get started here is usgs at explorer website so i was about to download this particular satellite imagery this is actually meant for landsat 7 according to the initials here le07 and this is for the dates 2013 12 21 right so you can see according to the imagery there are lines on it that is scan line error so this video tends to show everyone on how to correct for that so there are two approaches to solve this right the first approach is to use the cap max that is under the download options why the second approach is what i'll be showing you in detail that generally works all the time so let's get started Therefore, for the first approach, this is 2013 12 21. Right, you will click on the download options here, then you come to product options, then you scroll down to the extension with GM that is the gap mask. All right, so here it is. So, this is GM underscore B1 that is gap max for band one, for band two, and so on. However, I'll be making use of band four. In the course of this video i'm just going to show you as a practical example on how to correct generally for uh, scanline error so what you have to do is to download the gap max for the band 4 imagery so you just click on download and you are going to see it showing here under your download options it is very easy to download it's a very small file and it is done downloading all right then the next thing is to scroll up and download the band imagery of interest so as you have downloaded for the gap marks of a particular band you are expected to download the last set of that particular band so if you are working on more than two three four bands download for all the Landsat bands then the gap marks as well so that is that so you just minimize and you can import into your arc map therefore your arc map you import the two data that is band four and uh, the gap marks all right in my own case so this is band 4 here you can see the date here 2013 12 21 so you click on it and you add it so this is the landsat imagery and you can see it there are scan lines on it the next is to import the uh, gap max which is under my gap max folder here for this particular band so you can see here this is the gap max for the band 4 so even the gap max itself is having scanline error so majorly it does not work all right it does not work for me that is the first approach so i don't usually make use of this so let me just dive into the main approach that generally works all the time for me so you can just close your app map so i'm not using that so in this video i'll be making use of agis pro in the second part of the video i'll be making use of the arc map agis all right for those who do not have agis pro software so this is agis pro so you can come here on map and create a new project however i'll be making use of my previous project so this is a new work environment in arcgis pro all right so the first thing to do is now to go back to usgs earth explorer so this is the second alternative approach that works for me best all right so as you can see this is the data acquired dates for this landsat i am interested in and i want to use so in this second approach you are expected to download another date all right of landsat 7 data without scan line error so i'm just going to scroll down to look for a particular year of Landsat 7 data that is without scanline error. So I will scroll down to another year. So this is another set of data acquired. This is for 2003. This I think looks good. All right, so I can just click on this icon to see if there are no scanline error. Okay, this is okay. All right, so this is also Landsat 7 but another year which is another date this is for 2003-0108 and there are no scanline error on it so all you have to do is to click on the download options icon then you click on product options 
then you scroll to the bands of interest that you want to use for your analysis so i'm making use of band 4 in the course of this video for this practical explanation all right so you just download the particular band or bands of interest which in my case i have already downloaded so i will download for band 4 and i'm now going to come back to my arcgis pro work environment therefore the first thing to do is to import your two data of interest remember the scanline error data of interest then the other data of landsat 7 imagery without scanline error then you will come to if your season analysis come to map come to the add data icon here click on data then you navigate to scroll down to where you have your landsat data of interest so i have it here so this is for 2013 which is the Lancer 7 data with scanline error so here it is you can see it when I zoom in these are the scanline errors so I want to correct for that okay then you add the data that is without scanline error in my case this is 2003 data then you click on ok so you can already see it this particular data the both are band 4 band 4 however different dates okay so this is the second approach that works very well for me okay so you make sure that the landsat imagery with scanline error is above while the one that is without error is beneath so i'm just going to drag this down and i'm going to go right so the scanline error is overlaid on the Landsat 7 imagery without scanline error. Do we get that? Please, if you have watched this video to this extent, do it to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorials freely. So let's continue. Thank you. Alright, so these are the two data. Alright, make sure the data with error is overlaid on the data without error that is very important then you come to analysis you click on the tools boss then you now search for mosaic to new raster here it is mosaic to new raster you click on that then under your input rasters icon you click on this drop arrow then you import the first data you have which is the scanline error data then you import the data with that scanline error then your output location you click on this browse icon then you define the particular uh, folder where you want your corrected data to be saved so i want it to be on that project like this so when you click on the folder it's going to appear here then you click on ok then your raster data set name with extension then i'm going to call this this is my output data of interest corrected underscore b4 then with extension dot small letter tif very important do we get that the extension is very important small letter dot tif then your spatial reference for raster which is the coordinate system just click on this globe icon click on layers then you choose this this is the default layer that your landsat imagery is on so you check that then you click on ok without stress then you scroll down then this pz type cell size number of bands can now be seen under the raster information so you come to layer click on any landsat of interest you right click then you scroll to properties you click on that then you come to source then you click on raster information so according to what we need we need the information of the gz type which is here is unsigned gz depth is 16 bits the next thing is cell size cell size is 30 by 30 which is 30 meters the number of bands according to the information here is one so you take note of these informations all right then you can close this window then you can now come here pz type is 16 bits unsigned cell size according to our data is 30 number of bands is 1 then very important music operator okay music operator here you click on this drop arrow here 
click on it you are going to see these options then you click on mean so this is the mathematical raster operator we're going to give the software to generate and correct for the scanline error the mean then very important the music color mode let it be the particular last search you want to correct for which is 2013 in this case and it is on my first box all right if yours is on the second box you will scroll down here you click on this drop arrow then you click on last however mine is on the first so i'm just going to click on first do we get that if you didn't get any part of this you can rewind the video to watch and follow carefully thank you so when you are done with all this you click on run So it's calculating and it's solving the problem already. And it is done. So the uh, scanline error has been removed automatically. So we can just see that by unchecking. Let's uncheck. This is a corrected before that we correct for scanline error. Let's uncheck check check so this is the data with scanline error okay and here is the particular data without scanline error for 2003 i'm just going to remove that the work is done all right so i'm having two data here the band 4 with scanline error which we are all seeing on the screen and the corrected band Right, so you can see when I uncheck this, you are going to see the scanline error. But when I check this, it's gone. Right, so it has been solved automatically. So that is how to correct for scanline error using ArcGIS Pro. If you find this video informative, do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification on this channel to keep getting valuable tutorial freely. If you have any question, you can do it to drop it under my comment section. Thank you. See you in the next video.